What's up people, how are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And I have some excellent content for you folks. So this is regarding the older devices. So from the iPhone 6S to the iPhone X and the old cellular iPads like the Air 2 cellular, uh, the Pro 1, 12.9, Pro 1, 9.7, Pro 2, 10.5, Pro 2, 12.9, cellular, and the iPad 5th gen, 6th gen, and 7th gen, cellular, okay? For the older devices, it's basically a full premium iCloud bypass, and all services are working on it, all of them, and I will show you in this video in detail as well. So for demonstration purposes, I am going to be using an iPhone 7 Plus. But like I said, anything from the 6S to the iPhone X. First thing you want to do is download this, okay? It is called iHello HFZ Premium, okay? Version 1.3.4. The link for this will be in the description below my video. And what you're going to need to do is, once you've downloaded it, okay, if you're not following this man already, I'd be shocked for a start <laughs> because he is well known. He is massive on YouTube and he's a great developer of, of mine and... You know, he is next level, basically. So what you want to do is go on to your browser, okay? And say, use Google or whatever browser it is you want to use. Type in Just A Tech. Yeah, I know. Chances are you've already heard of the man, right? <laughs> okay. Just A Tech. Here he is. Like a light on the headlands. There, look. That's his blog. Open it. What you want to do is go over here, join our Telegram channel. Yeah? You want to click on that. Now, let me state for the record, you can do this on your iPhone if you want or your uh, iPad, whatever, like, you know, whatever you're logged into on Telegram, which most people are. I myself, I'm not really logged in on my computer. Some people are, some people aren't. But anyway, head over here. As you can see, all his social media platforms are right there, okay? And what you want to do is you want to select this one. Contact me personally, Telegram. And you basically private message him to get your device registered, okay? That's how you register your device. It's a real good service and hats off to the HFZ team for Just a Tech and the HFZ team to make this happen. Good work, guys. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Remarkable, might I add. Okay, so now that's done, go on Safari, you wanna quit Safari. Um, so basically, you, you private message him and First thing you want to do, okay, connect the device. And so as you can see, device connected. Because you've got to do this first, okay? This is the important bit. You've got to do this first. As you saw then in green, the bypass is supported. Yeah, excellent. So what you want to do is, when you start the, uh, start iHello HFZ Premium, you're gonna to have to put it in a jailbreak state so we can exploit it properly, okay? So let's do that now. Once you've done the jailbreak, which I'm about to do now. Uh, yes, this works on Windows as well as Mac, by the way. As you can see, I'm doing it on Mac. But yes, it works on Windows as well. Okay. 
So we're gonna put our device in a DFU state. Right, so volume down, power button. You just you just follow the uh, instructions on the screen, basically. So, so let go of the power button. Keep hold of the volume down. Bingo. Okay. Now you're going to see a lovely exploit on the screen now. Look at that. Look at that for a lovely verbo state. Look at that. After you've done the jailbreak, it'll then prompt you to register. And like I told you, private message him so we can get the device registered for you. And yeah, basically you're good to go. A box will pop up looking like this, okay, to say that it's in a queue and it's not going to take that long. Uh, I'd say 24 hours, maybe on uh, Sunday or Monday, probably take a little bit longer. But um, yeah, I'd say 24 hours, give or take. I mean, this one here, this one got added in 19, 20 hours, roughly, roughly. It could have been less than that. Could have been less than that okay now we're here what we want to do is simply click on activate right we want to activate do we want to activate sure we do <laughs> let's live dangerously right <laughs> yeah man okay and like i said all everything's working all the eye services are working calls data can you use FaceTime? Can you use iMessage? A notification's working. Tick, tick, tick. Yes to all. Absolutely. No question of a doubt. Okay. Now I've activated my device. It's time to go through the setup and I will show you exactly that everything works in detail and in depth, all right? So language region, of course I'm in the UK, you can tell by my accent, right? Look at that, data and privacy. Let's continue, set all this up later. Okay, and bingo, look at that. We're in the device, full access. And so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a SIM card in there and we are going to make a phone call. And then once that's done, I'll show you that it's fully untethered. Okay, so there we are. So let's go for this. Welcome to three. If your query is about the number you're calling from, press one. If the query is on a different number, press two. Phone calls, absolutely. Let's, um, right. So now let's disable Wi-Fi. So we only got data working, right? Open up Safari, Google, there it is, as you can see. So calls and data are working just fine. No problem at all, right? Next thing I wanna show you to confirm, let's see, we don't need this anymore, is so you could see that the that the device is fully untethered. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and power it back on. So you can see calls are working, data is working, and if you sign into iCloud, you can use FaceTime, iMessage, all the services are working, people. And like I said, obviously this is for the older devices, uh, but you know, for those of you who have been waiting, why not get your devices added, right? So there we go, fully untethered. Uh, calls, data, iMessage, FaceTime, all of it works, all of it, right? Okay, now let's just go into settings just to show you, you know, what phone it actually is. And there we go. iPhone 7 Plus model A1784, all right? Okay. So we got that. And now, one more thing I'd like to show you. It's up to you if you want this in place. You could untick the box on the program, but if I was you, I'd keep it ticked. Transfer or reset iPhone. Erase all content and settings. Continue. Erase. I would keep all boxes ticked if I was you. The one in the middle blocks the OTA, blocks the updates. You don't really need to block updates, but I would if I was you, simply because it's an iCloud bypass, you know, because they are still bringing out um, uh, beta versions of iOS uh, 15 and 16 still, you know. But it's up to you. I mean, I just ticked all the boxes, me, just, you know, better safe than sorry iCloud bypasses, they are unpredictable people. So again, it's better to be safe than sorry, you know. And there we go. As you can see, I've just erased all content and settings and it's resprung straight back to the apps. Look at that, done. See, that's simple. So like I said, I've mentioned the specific devices that are compatible. And basically, I know a lot of you folks have been waiting for them to happen. And yeah, I've given you the tools, I've shown you the way, and it's, you know, it's straightforward. You want to get them added, you contact Just A Tech, okay, on his Telegram channel, private message him, and take it from there, right? Also, be sure to check out the rest of my content. Um, I've got a lot, of, a lot of content on you with Apple devices, encryptions, etc., um, I've done a video earlier on the MDM bypass for MacBooks. So, yeah, i got a lot of content on you and plenty more content to come. Thanks for your time. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.